Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. We continue where we left off the last time. We are in search for uh, the young lady that can give us access to the Crimson Fleet. So let's see if we can find her. We need to go in that direction. We need to go up. Okay. Let's see, she's somewhere over there, it seems. In a press statement, Galbank acknowledged there was a data Probably in here. Yeah, there she is. Warson Bowden. Okay. Let's if you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Uh, I'm here to sell, but I'm looking for you. I brought something that could interest the Crimson Fleet. I'm looking to unload sensitive shipments. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. Mm -hmm. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Uh, take a look at this sample. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hard to handle, though. What else you got? The Trade Authority turning away contraband. Now I've seen everything. If you can handle it, point me to someone who can. Guess the people that told me you were the best were wrong. No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well... Bend the rules a little bit. Okay. Uh, I have to pay you just to find out where to sell my shipment. What if I just blow your brains out and ask someone else? Okay, I refuse to pay that. Uh, okay, let's do that. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Well, well. It appears she suddenly remembers everything. Hmm. How oh, nice. Yeah, indeed. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I'm sure. Speak to Adler Kemp at the Broken Spear. Okay, let's see where we can find that guy. Are you hey, for, um... looking for anything particular? Yeah, let's talk with Yo, you. Oh, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Okay. Um. Cool. That's what we do here. Let's see. Is there anything I want to sell? It seems so. And he has a lot of credits. Okay, that's uh, good to know. Wait, this is the stuff he sells. Uh, let's go to mine. Yeah, that's better. I think we sold all the... Yeah, we don't need to sell this stuff. Ammo, we don't sell spacesuits. Let's see. We have a calibrated space trucker spacesuit that we can sell. We have two packs. The ecliptic pack. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, drop that. Uh, we have a few helmets that we could do without. Well, this is just a normal helmet, so let's get rid of it. Uh, throwables, eight notes. I think we might have something in that department. Jake and the Inu. Mining, monthly issue. Yeah, we read that, so we can get rid of it now. Moby Dick. Ubo survey data. I think we might sell that to someone else for a better price. Uh, ship repair fundamentals. Tales of space. Yeah, that's for books. I think we could sell this to Vladimir, if I'm not mistaken. Survey data. We'll see. At least it doesn't weigh that much. Uh, it has no mass. Okay, that's even better. So we're not in a hurry to uh, get rid of that. Uh, Barrett's personal. Well, that's fine. 
At least we got something out Yo, of it. Stay good out there. Yeah, we do. Thank you. At least now we know where we can sell a lot of stuff. And I think we have a trade authority on New Atlantis also. So we should be able to go there and sell some of the materials we have. Let's see. Which direction do we go? We need to go up. Uh, wait a minute. Where do I have to go exactly? He was in the bar, wasn't he? The broken spear. Could be that we need to go even further up then. It seems like it. Let's see. Oh yeah, we can go to the... Oh, here's the broken spear. Yep. This here is the most important work in the galaxy. We mine the resources that makes Oh, here's the guy. Possible. Adler Camp. Okay. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hmm... Give a sample. You said you could help me move some of this. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Mm, do you have a uh, megaphone? I could. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. Good. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Oh. Uh, she never said something about that yeah well she isn't running the show here i am okay well this is utterly ridiculous do we really have to jump through these hoops to get what we need from you <sighs> lady if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here you're going to do whatever the hell i want you got that oh, now listen easy, up because i'm not going to repeat myself I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. Mm. Probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Okay. I'll just kill him and take the money off his corpse. How loud do you want to, this to be? What do I need to do here? Write you an instruction manual? You can do this loud, you can do this quiet. I don't care. I just want my goddamn money, and I want this guy to remember who he screwed over. Okay, okay. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Mm, okay, let's uh, check. It's 70. I guess we have to go out first here. And then go back in this direction. Yeah. Wait. Okay, we need to take uh, the elevator. And he is some... They said they don't need a programmer on board, but their shipboard system literally uses quantum synergy software. Okay, we need to go in this direction. It says... <laughs> it's not easy living in Sidonia. Oh, he's sitting over here. Okay. Well, it's something I can help you with. Yeah, sure. I'm here to collect the credits you own to Adler Camp. Adler Camp? Who the heck is that? Oh, that doesn't work on me. Uh, I really don't have time to play games. What? Play what games? You're obviously confusing me with someone else. Sure. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Uh, well, nice be knowing you. I'm sure your funeral will be lovely. Uh, hey, hey now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait, you mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. Sure. 
I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. Uh, I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Uh, I don't think Adler is going to be satisfied with that option. Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Perhaps he's already been through enough. Um. Promise to stop borrowing from Adler and I'll pay your debt from you. Pursue him to play. I'm tired of playing games. Mm. Holy crap. Really? You do that for me? Wow. I, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. For everything. And don't worry. I'll never borrow anything from Adler again. I promise. Something you need? Okay. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Yeah, sure. Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. Okay. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. Hey, okay. If it's emergency, we can head there right away. No, no, it's nothing like that. Okay. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. Mm, you feel like you're ignoring your responsibilities. Are you upset that I'm keeping you away from the lodge? Are you receiving this message often? Something like that. It's difficult to explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Governments take, take their toll on everyone. Uh... Yeah, I suppose painful is an appropriate way to put it. You see... The top brass demanded press-worthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Mm. Uh, it's ridiculous to accept all of the blame. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favoured the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. Mm, nonsense. No one would have pushed you harder than you. No matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you can't win. It's obvious the military wasn't your calling. Your division never had a single significant... That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Hmm... Calm down. No, damn it. For once, I'm going to say what's on my mind instead of pretending that everything's okay. Okay. Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure the accounts are balanced. Uh, you're afraid that your absence will cause consolation to collapse. Maybe you should reassign your position as chair and just explore. We should put this aside now and concentrate on our mission. Uh. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Matteo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Don't worry, we'll figure this out. Uh, hey, you're the one who wanted to talk, so I'm sorry I pushed you so hard. No, 
No. Oh, I'm the one that should be apologizing. <sighs> you have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Hmm. I'm always be there for you, Sarah. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just... I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Please, it's not you. It's me. I'm just not ready to get that close. Okay. I can't. Not now. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. Okay, good. Now let's uh, do the next thing. We have to probably go back to uh, that guy and pay those credits. Uh, let me see, where are we exactly? We need to go up again here, don't we? Yep. Uh, this direction. A lot of people uh, around here. All wearing uh, suitcases. At least this one does. Not sure what's in there, but here we go. So. Have something for me? Yep, I got uh, three thousand credits. Bear, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Uh, he got the message. Nice. Nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. Hmm. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? Uh, if you think they can handle me, uh, who exactly are your associates? If you haven't figured that out by now, then maybe you aren't cut out for our line of work. Okay, okay. If you think they can... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh. And I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Five thousand eight hundred. Okay. We got two hundred and fifty points out of this. A rook meets king. Rendezvous with Astrea at Europa. So we have to go to our ship. Let's do that and see what we are up to and what needs to be done. Uh, we need to go in this direction. Vasco is waiting outside. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Okay, understood. Might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. Mm. Okay, that's good, I guess. So let's see what we can do for now. Yeah, I think we should uh, go to Europe, uh, Europa, whatever it's going called, to be called. We have At some point we do need another ship, this one is a little bit uh, small. Mm, looks peaceful. 
So let's see. So let's do this first, then tap out. Uh, here it is. Jupiter's Moon Rendezvous with the Asteria at Europa. Uh, set course. Yes. Uh, that's what I'm here for, damn right, Atlas said that. I didn't know he cared. <laughs> You're funny. I hate funny. Okay. Remember that. You hate funny, so, right. Before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. If you get through this little task I have planned for you, okay. there's a medical supply ship called the Raigana jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Reek. I want him dead. Oh boy. Um. Good, Head good. back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. So... That's the notorious Nova Mora. I have to say, if she's the finest that the Crimson Fleet has to offer, joining them might be a terrible mistake. Hmm. Might be. How can you be certain that Austin Rake is on the Ragana? That is to be seen. Okay. Saturn, travel. Let's see if we can negotiate something. Maybe we don't have to kill him, I don't know. Just pretend that he is being killed. some bad news for you you have a crewman on board I'm looking for looks like trouble found you you damn you've drawn the attention of the crimson fleet I was afraid of that look we are not built for combat what is it you want exactly uh, I'm going to open the hatch and I'm going aboard I only have one demand kill Austin Drake do that and I'll let you go hmm can we? Oh, we have more. You see that? The fle fleet was Austin's rig dead. I'd like to board your ship and talk about how to spare him. Oh, God. 
Lord. I do not know. Keep in mind, we're not threatening to board you. We're asking. The distinction is rather important. Well, normally I would say no, but... Frankly, it will be safer for us that way. All right. You can dock. We will talk then. Okay. There we go. Find a way to spare Alistair. I didn't see all the objectives, but there must be a way that we can spare him. To stay on the good side. Airlock integrity looks good. And pretend that he's being I'll dead. To my crew position. Mm, let's open the door and see what we can. Okay. I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. I don't know who's listening over the comms. This is Saver. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Mm -hmm. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? Uh, the fleet won't break that, but I want to resolve this without violence. You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? No. And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. Um, as long as he agrees to turn himself into UC Sysdev. Mm. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. I thought we were dead. Okay. I can't believe it. Let's uh, get out of here. Do we need to talk? Return to Navia and Orange Orbit. What can I help you with? Uh, nothing. Time to go? Yep, time to go. Let's go back to the frontier. And see how we handle this. If she... Uh... What is it? Okay with this. Payers, okay. I guess that's the ship was called. Moon of Saturn. Okay, guess we're not there yet. Jupiter, let's travel there. Europe. Wait, Europa? Yeah, Europa, that's right. Got a little bit confused there. Or 
hull is uh, damaged. Let's repair. That's another one. More? No. Heal the Astera. Where is it? There it is. Thanks for the help with the cliptic. I had it under control, but it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Uh, he's dead. The Ragana survived. Okay. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Yeah, yeah, we clear. Uh, why send a person? I'd rather have you come after me. Be careful what you wish for. You screw up bad enough, and I just might. And now that you know the deal, Time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Don't worry. Well, we're in. I hope you know what you're doing. Nah, not sure, but we'll see. You have to pick up some uh, goodies here. There we go. Ship parts always welcome. Uh, we should have one over here. I think there were two or three sh ships. There we go. Credits always fun to have. And where is the last one? This direction. There we go. Just over uh, a thousand meters away. That was not much uh, to pick up. Okay, let's see where we have to go now. Because we can seemingly travel. And since we're in, we shouldn't have any problems with the Crimson Fleet, uh, I guess. Cricks. Okay, that's uh, a huge distance to travel. Let's go to... Okay, let's pick up this one, I assume. set course no not that one come on give me this there we go jump drive should be up yep there we go Okay, what's that? Uh, the Alma guest. Not sure what that exactly is, but let's uh, let's see where we have to go from here. It's a science outpost. Okay. And what do we have here? Repair and go. Sounds like a repair station. Aurora. Well, we ain't doing. Okay, let me see. Cricks. Yeah, we have to go to Cheyenne now. Set course. Jump. Level 11. Okay. We could level up. Uh, what do we need exactly? That's always the question. Do we need something physical? 
Boxing Fitness. With 10% more oxygen available. Stealth. Stealth meter. You're 25% more difficult to detect when sneaks. The press weapons do additional... Uh, you know what? We could do with uh, a little bit of stealth, I guess. Let's unlock this one. There we go. We need way more uh, points, but we'll get there. Uh, if you wanted to, you could go all rogue on this. I mean, that's uh, that's a possibility. But we don't have contraband, so. Aquila system. Okay. But this should make some missions a little bit easier, since we also been recognized as uh, as Crimson Fleet now. Let's jump. Grab jump complete. Nothing in here, but I assume that this is the place to go. Mission. Soul. No, that's not where I want to go, to be honest. Don't want to go to the soul system. I want to go to the Grig system. Let's see the mission. Rook meets king. Report to the vigilance. Oh, that's in the soul system. Do we have to do that first? Well, we can do that afterwards. But it seems that we do need to... Uh, Report to the soul system. Dock. I assume. What's the distance here? Oh, hill. McKee acknowledging fleet vessel. Welcome home. But what's our distance, and at what point can we dock? Maybe I should go... It seems that I can't dock at here. That's a pirate. This is the key, but... No, no possibility to dock. Hmm. Odd. Well, there is a ship here. But this here is a docking port. But I simply can't dock. Maybe I should go to the uh, to this one first. Then let's see if we can uh, accomplish that. Uh, the mission is over there. All system. Set landing target, set course. Okay, we can't fly all the way down there. We need to go to Olympus first. That's... Or at least... That's not Olympus, I think. It's this one. Let's go there. Because we probably do need to go to the... Vengeance. Or whatever it was called. So let's give that a try. Hopefully they're pleased with uh, what nice we right have done so far. 
let's uh, find a new route to the soul system can we jump here uh, vigilance yep uh, where is the vigilance down here and that's where we want to go set course to, yes set course to charging up the graph drive there we go two one and there we are so i assume we get further instructions there is uh, vigilance dock Thank you, Sarah. Give the word and we'll get underway. Hello. I had a friend on the Regana. I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on shore. This individual is busy. Okay, he's bringing us to the commander, I guess. Yep. The elevator. Most of our operations team graduated top of their class at the academy. But Come on, Sarah, don't slack. Army. Move it. The Regana made it to port with zero casualties. Uh, let's talk. We got the message from the Regana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. Mm hmm. I'm glad he surrendered. I didn't want to kill anyone innocent or otherwise. Uh. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. I'll do my part to make certain that doesn't happen, Commander. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. Hmm. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensure that would not be a problem okay was it that was a clever way to ensure nirvana's trust ah so i take it you have good news were you able to join the fleet yes i did uh, it seems i'd like i passed their initial test then it worked you're in Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Everything is according to... and those idiots don't suspect a thing. What do you know about Neva? The woman has a record that could stretch across Seoul and back. She started young as one of Neon Street Rats and worked her way up to second in command. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. Uh, just pay me so I can get out of here. Everything is according to Yes, plan. you pass your first test and you're still alive. Mm -hmm. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing she intends to make an example of you later just remember these are ruthless criminals so don't let your guard down and their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning you should proceed with caution regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself so what's next for you on Neva's agenda I was told to meet Neva at the key I got coordinates from the Clemson fleet base Excellent. If you're heading to the Key, I assume you'll be meeting Delgado soon. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Agreed. 
The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I don't disagree, but it's important to know your enemy and the best way to defeat them. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Okay. Travel to the key. Now we have to go there. Okay, let's uh, head out of here then. Howdy. Howdy. That, that's uh, a little bit of a different... Uh, Greeting. Hello, Captain, Vasco. Greetings. Greetings, Vasco. Captain. Okay, people, we're gonna leave it at this. Like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and hopefully until the next time. Bye for now.